Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the William Lowell Putnam Mathematical Competition 2018, problem A1. We wish to find all positive integers a and b satisfying the following equality. 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 3 over 2018. It's a rather simple Diophantine equation, here are my hints. First, uh, 1009 is a prime this will be useful later then show that uh, our equation uh, can be reduced is equivalent to the following equation which is written right here now note that 3k minus 2018 is congruent to 1 modulo 3 and then consider all the possible factorizations of 2018 squared into two factors uh, both of them which are congruent to 1, modulo 3. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so let's take our equation. 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 3 over 2018. Let's multiply everything by 2018ab. So we have 2018a plus 2018b equals... 3ab and now let's do the following let's put everything on one side so we have 3ab minus 2018a minus 2018b equals zero and now let's take this equation and let's multiply it by 3. why because now we can write it as 3a times 3 times b minus 2018 times 3a minus 2018 times 3 times b and now i wish to do some factorization so i will introduce a bit artificially 2018 squared 2018 squared because now if you look closely the left hand side can be factorized in the following manner 3a minus 2018 3b minus 2018 equals 2018 squared all right <clears throat> moreover let's let's do the factorization it turns out that 2018 squared it's 2 squared times 1009 and moreover it is easy rather easy but tedious to verify that 1009 is a prime this number is a prime all right and also note the following that this number is congruent to 1 modulo 3 and this number is also congruent to 1 modulo 3. All right, so now all we need to do is to consider all the possibilities because we have to express this number right here as a product, the product of two numbers, two integers, such that both of them are congruent to 1. So how many ways are there? Well, first of all, to reduce some possibilities, we found loss of generality. Let's assume that A is less than or equal B. B. So now we have the following options. 3A minus 2018. 3B minus 2018. Equals equals. And now what I will do, I will copy it. All right, so first possibility is 1, 2 squared times 1009 squared is one possibility. Second possibility, uh, can the first number be 2? No, it can because 2 is not congruent to 1. All right, so 2 cannot happen. What about 4? Well, it can be 4. And 2009 squared It's second possibility. What then? Mm. We can have 2 times uh, 1009, can it be? Well, this is congruent to minus 1, and this is congruent to 1. No, so it cannot be. It cannot be. So it cannot be. Mm. So what else is left? What else is left? Well, we can also have 1009 and 2 squared times 1009. All right. Moreover, 
we can also have minuses. So we have also the possibility, well, minus 1 cannot be, but minus 2 can be. Minus 2 can be. So minus 2, or rather because A is less than or equal B, here we have minus 2, and here we can have minus 2 times 1009 squared. What else? Uh, what else? What about minus 4? Minus 4 is not congruent to 1, so it cannot be. So minus 4 is not good. So we have also minus 2 times 1009, minus 2 times 1009. <clears throat> and that is probably it. That is probably it, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so uh, now let's solve all of these equations. Maybe I will put it below. I'll put it below. And now, first possibility. A is 2019 over 3. 2019 over 3 is ha happens to be 673. And B... It's 4, 2018 squared plus 2018, everything divided by 3, 1 million, 1 million, 3, 5, 8, 1, 1, 4. Second possibility, 2022 over 3 is 674 and now b is let's see plus 2018 over 3 3 4 0 0 3 3 next possibility 1009 plus 2018 over 3 is 1009 and B is 4 times 1009 plus 2018 over 3, 2018. All right. And now, notice the following. It should be rather clear that in the last two possibilities, in both of them, A and B are going to be less than zero and remember that we are dealing considering only positive integers so we can already eliminate these two last possibilities and also remember that we have assumed that a is less than or equal b but it can also be the other way around so we can take these possibilities <clears throat> and we can also uh, change a, a and b exchange a and b and we'll have again solution. And that is it. We have six pairs of solutions in total. So yes, and that closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.